Gretchen is a kind of consummate good girl. She's uh, pious. We first encounter her coming from church where she's been to confession. She's innocent, young, pure. And Faust doesn't quite fall in love with her. He sort of falls in lust with her. And the first time that he meets her on the street, she rejects him utterly and completely in about two lines of dialogue. But she goes home and she thinks about Faust. And she really likes Faust, who by this time has had a kind of elixir of youth to make him look beautiful. So she thinks, who is this wonderful man? Oh. Uh, and she starts to fall in love with him. The song that we're going to perform, Gretchen am Spinnrader, Gretchen at the Spinning Wheel, comes in the play Faust, um, after Gretchen and Faust have had their kind of first romantic encounter. They spent time talking together, spent time kind of falling in love, and Gretchen is now at home thinking about that encounter, thinking about Faust, but most of all thinking about the kiss that they've shared at the end of that encounter. And so she's, um, she's starting to shift from being this kind of pious, innocent girl to realising that doors are opening, taking her maybe in a new direction, that there's something else in life which she's been missing. One of the things that Schubert does at the age of 17 is to begin to expand the size of the lead, which typically has been thought of as a very folkish and simple musical and poetic form. And Schubert begins to write on a much grander scale, he gives the piano much more to do, and he also begins to set works which are from um, larger, perhaps less deliberately folk-like um, settings. So for example, um, Gretchen, which is his first Goethe setting. Everyone would want to set Goethe because he's the greatest living writer um, of the age. Uh, Goethe has been set by many uh, other composers, most notably Zelter, who's his contemporary and friend. So if Schubert wants to declare himself a serious song composer, then he has to treat Goethe on a certain level. We also have the huge popularity of a drama such as Faust. So if, as a young composer, you can tap into both of those markets, then you'll be doing very well for yourself. The other thing that Goethe allows Schubert to do is to explore more complex female characters, or more complex characters altogether. Um, so it begins to expand the scope of what a lead, which is typically being quite focused and simple and direct in expression, can do on the concert stage. Goethe preferred his poetry to come first. And as an elder statesman, he was quite openly critical of settings which didn't do that. He preferred what we call strophic settings, so the music would be the same for every single verse of poetry, and it meant that the words were very clear, and it meant that it was most definitely a poem which happened to have musical accompaniment. Schubert, in some ways, reverses the order, and so this becomes primarily a musical work. And Goethe was very um, hesitant to condone or Goethe didn't like the idea of the music taking over his poetry. He thought it was too elaborate. He thought in some ways it was distracting. Well, one of the things that, that Schubert does is takes the words and gives them to the singer. Um, but then he has to have a piano part. And the piano part is picking up on imagery and ideas in the poem and making them audible to us. So you can hear the spinning wheel going all the way through the song. But you could possibly also hear something like a heartbeat. So the music fleshes out the emotional landscape of the poem in extraordinary ways. But it does more than that. It's not just representation. It's beginning to take us into emotion and embodiment. So Goethe's words are on the page, they can be performed in the theatre, then they're sung, and then as the audience hears them, I think they're both responding to the words, hearing the words, making sense of the words, but they're listening to the music, and in listening to the music and its emotions, they are then drawn into the character and the situation in extraordinary ways. So it's a threefold process of text, music, and then emotional reaction on part of not just the performers, but the listeners. Thank you. 
Uh, for me, one of the exciting things about singing, performing, playing Kretchen am Spinnrader is that it not only gives us access to a wonderful, memorable literary character, Gretchen, but it might encourage us to go back to Goethe's Faust, to the play from which this text came. Schubert sets it very memorably. It's very dramatic in performance, and it may be all that we remember, but it should also be a reminder that we can go back to Goethe and think of where this character originated in the first place.